Well, we found something. It's not what we were looking for. We might, we might find what we're looking for. Very well, very well, might not. Um, we found this. A wooden Viking. Um, yeah. Uh, you can't really see, but I guess we, we we luckily found a sign for. Yeah. What? For the um, National Norwegian Memorial. Um, I really can't tell what it is. I mean, there's a couple flags here. Um, one second, let's see if this work makes it any better. Probably not, it turned on. Yeah. One second, that's my friend, just John taking a picture. Can't tell, there's a couple flag poles and over here there's something. Uh, ugh, oh my God. Ground is, ground is really gross. It's really. All right, it is a pagoda. Here, what's inside? What? Oh, it's another plaque. This is the area where the first Norwegian immigrants spent their first winter in the Fox River settlement in 1834. Across the road is where Clang Pearson had his famous dream and vision of better things for his countrymen. This resulted in bringing them here, where they were first successful in America. Okay, enough of this. Okay, um, 53 Norwegian immigrants. Great. Okay, well, can't see anything, but this is it. On our way, um, on our way, um, away from the Viking Memorial, we said we saw the other site we came here for, which was, um, this. Um, I believe it's the Agricultural Crash Monument Memorial. It's probably a sign here. Let's see what it says. Um, it's only the largest scythe dealer. Oh, there's a plaque around the front. It's just very wet. Here, there's a sign over here, but I don't think I want to go over there. So, yeah, there you have it, the agriculture plane crash monument thing. Okay, so, um, been on the road. The fog's been on and off for the past while. Uh, so we're almost in Iowa, where we'll be spending the night. Uh, the fog is really shitty, especially now. Right, the uh, fog has been by far the great impediment, really. We've been visibility less than 20 feet many, many times for long stretches. and. You know, they said it's weather that I would never drive in, but John's been very good. You know, he's really using the GPS for good effect, and you know, we've been safe, and you know, here we are. We made it much farther than would have under my, you know, under my leadership. So, you know, good for that. We didn't, we're not, we essentially settled a few hours back when we were at the plane crash memorial. We decided that we're not going to make it to our final destination, which was Audubon, Iowa, tonight. But instead, we're settling for a small town which is right at the border of Iowa and Illinois on the Iowa side, which is, um, well, what is it called? Uh, I don't know, but it's, it's, uh... It has kind of a long name. Well, it's a nice hotel. Holiday Inn. Yeah, we're thinking of Holiday Inn again, because they have good Wi-Fi, which is, since there's still winter storm when we end, we really want to avoid snow. Like, I'm really pushing for that. Um, we might need to alter our route a little bit and go south a little bit more immediately and avoid Colorado altogether. Um, so hopefully we'll have Wi-Fi tonight so we can maybe plan an alternate route if it's necessary and check the weather and all that kind of stuff. 